Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce Theme Development. In the previous episode, we learned about how to create an endpoint for getting the comments and posting a comment. And in this video, we're going to learn about how to display those comments onto the front end. Okay. So what we want to achieve is basically uh, like you have your WordPress theme where you have a list of comments. Similarly, we want to display those comments on the uh, front end for our React theme as well. Okay. So let's do that. So we go to the pull request, which is pull request number 42 on this uh, repository. And go to comments index.js. So what we're going to do is we'll go back to our source components and we create a directory called comments. And inside of this, we'll create index.js. And here's where we will create this component. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me just say export default comments. Okay, and you're going to just return an empty string for now. What we want in this component are two things. First is comments and second is post ID. So where do we want this? We basically want this onto our block page, right? So our block single page is this one. So this is where we need it and just below the content, right? So let's go to this file called slug dot js. So basically we need to make a request uh, to our endpoint that we created in the previous video. And we need to basically get the comments inside of get static props. So let's go to get static props. And this is where we'll add another function called get comments and just hover over it and import it. Okay. So you've got that imported on top like, like that. All right. So what does this get comments function need? So we already established that get comments function need the post ID needs the post ID because it needs to know uh, for which post you want to get the comments for. Right. So how do we get the post ID? Well, since you're already in the single block post page, um, if you go to the single block post page, let's say go to the front end, go to the block page. And if this is counselor, if this is the one set on that. So this is our, this is our block page, right? So this is your slug.js and that's what's rendering this whole thing. So we already got the post data. We need the comments data to get the comments. We already have the post ID. So, uh, so inside of this function, when we get the post data, uh, under the first item, we have the ID, right? Uh, so we just pull that and we pass it to the get comments and then we pass the get comments data to our props. Okay. So we put a comma here and we pass this comments data here, right? So that way our function will have that information. This post function will have access to that. So I'm just going to pass that here. And then if you just console out this comments data here and go back, inspect element, you'll notice that you have the comments data here, right? So for this post, you have six comments. And if you go under that, you have all the information about that comment, like author name, the content of that comment date, link, status, if it's approved or not. Of course, we're only getting the um, comments that have approved status. We don't want to display the ones that are not approved. So that's fine. Cool. And then finally, we just need to add that component, which we just created, right? So just going to copy this component and then pass on to our slug.js just beneath our content and just import it on top. Okay. So all we are doing is this component requires two things, comments and post ID. So we already have the post ID here under the post data. So post data dot ID will give us the post ID and then comments data is something we already uh, fetched into our get static prop function using get comments function. And that is making a REST API call, getting the comments data, passing it as props to our post component and then 
that is being passed to our comments components okay so the job of the slug.js is over here uh, all it had to do is just make a stpi request get the data pass it to the comments and now we go back we close this and we'll go to our comments uh, function so now comments has access to both comments uh, now the comments function has access to both uh, comments and post IDs. this component has that access let's continue comments slash index.js this is where we were uh, so two things first if comments are not available let me pull the is empty from lodash let me pull the is array from lodash okay now if the comments are not available um, if comment is not an array we just return null okay because there's no need to proceed further okay now we create a div inside of this return function let's create a div and inside of this div we'll just say how many comments were there so we'll say comments dot length because comments is an array if you take a look at the inspect element you can see this is an array so comments dot length will give us like six number six and that's what we're saying Then six comments okay that's the heading we want to achieve because that's what we're trying to achieve on the front end right this six comments so that's that's what it is that heading next up is we need to loop through the comments and just print that so let me copy this one and i'll paste it here now here we're using the map function of javascript just looping through it we have the index we have the comments and then inside of that we have a div element which is passing the key which is the id of the comment and the index and then class name is comment and then inside of this we will create another component we'll add another component called comment we haven't created that yet so we'll create that in a moment and we'll need a reply button click for that so i'm just going to create that function and just keep it here won't do anything just yet okay one do uh, so later on we need to basically when the user clicks on the reply button like you see on the front end like this if you clicks on the reply button then we need to basically um make a request to we basically need to take the user at the bottom of the page where you'll have the form and then he can post the comments that's the job of that but we will come back to that in some time um, main thing is that this comment component the job of this is basically to render the comment each comment so we are just isolating these things so i'm going to go back to our comments and just create a file called comment.js okay we'll come back to our pull request and we'll say comments slash comment dot js which is this one and i'm just going to copy this whole thing and i'll explain to you all right so let's see what's happening here so we have a comment um component this is a comment function it'll take comment um as a prop and then it'll take handle reply button click which we will pass from our main component of comments index.js and I just import it on top. So now inside of this comment component, we're just checking if it's not empty. We're just checking if it's empty, then return null. Otherwise, we're just using a markup article. We have a bunch of classes, and then you have the footer, bunch of classes, a div, a div. And inside of this, we have the image because if you go to the front end, uh, ignore the uh, error message right now because it's not done completely yet uh, but uh, what i want you to look at is the shape of the comment so if you take a look at the uh, data that we have received um, basically we are saying that we want the comments author avatar url uh, so this is the avatar url we want the size 48 so that's what we're getting right because we want to display the author's image over here so that's why we need that then we need the title the width layout container class border radius all of that stuff okay, you want it to be like round and circular that's why you're passing the uh, border radius okay and then we're saying author name so again we have the author name over here so we're passing that uh, we need the date so we're getting the date from this 
and we need the format at time uh, because this is this is this format right you need to convert it into um, user readable format something like this okay so we already have a get formatted for a date function uh, which we built in the previous videos where we just basically converting into the format that is you know uh, user readable okay and we're just displaying that then uh, continuing further we have the common body which is content dot rendered which is common content dot rendered right here and then moving on then we will have the button for replying so like this reply button so we're just creating the button for that and we're just passing the handle reply button click which will have event event in the comment id okay so we'll pass that to that function which will call which will be called over here okay inside the uh, parent component comments index dot index dot js then we have this, some svg uh, icon and then we have the reply text that's all that's happening here in this particular comment box okay now let's go back on to the front end uh, we have an error here and it's not something surprising we've seen such errors before all this is saying is that you're passing a secure gravatar.com url so in our response uh, the url we have for the user is secure.gravatar.com and we know that anytime it's a new unknown uh, url or domain then uh, unknown domain then uh, we need to pass that into our configuration so that's all that is saying that go ahead and put that in your configuration so i'm going to take this secure.gravatar.com and i'll go to my next config I'll look for the next config.js and then over here next to the other domains that we are passing which we want to allow on our website we're just going to pass this one as well okay and um, then we'll just rerun it and we'll refresh there you go that error is gone now now if you scroll down there you go congratulations so now you've got all your comments being displayed here uh, with the reply button excellent awesome congratulations so brilliant so you've got all the comments we have the author's name the, f the picture of that url date uh, reply button um, the comment itself and all of that all right brilliant so that's it for this video um, in the next video we're going to start building the comment form because we want the user to be able to go ahead and um, post a comment uh, so we need to have a common form for that so we'll build that in the next video so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already uh, please do star my repository uh, my st repository address it is uh, next year's woocommerce rest api to support my work do follow me on github my github handle is imran h sayyad uh, do sign up for the membership uh, to get more perks all right so i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much bye, -bye.